Dr. Fizz here with a visualization of a trig identity. It's very, very good to think in terms of pictures when you can, and I want to show you here another way of seeing a trigonometric identity, which we have derived in a very, very quick way in an earlier video by matrix multiplication. But let's go back to basics. But we're going to pick the length of this line to be 1, and we're going to call this angle alpha, the big angle, drops down to the x-axis, and beta, the small angle in here, that's the angle of rotation, as we go from x-y to x-prime, y-prime, and that was what we had as theta before. So our formula from before, x cosine theta plus y sine theta, we just replace the theta with beta. So you can replace these thetas with beta. Remember x cosine theta was x cosine of this angle theta, which is now beta, gets us to here, and then y sine of beta gave of us this other piece to get that. So let's just focus our attention on this one here. And x prime is the distance from the origin out to this point here, which notice is simply 1 times the cosine of the angle in here, which is alpha minus beta. So I've replaced x prime with cosine of the quantity alpha minus beta. Then x, the x is also, by way of this triangle, the hypotenuse 1 times the cosine of alpha gives you x, so I can replace x with cosine of alpha. And y, this drop down, is 1 times the sine of alpha, so I can replace y with the sine of alpha. So you get to see where the components of this trigonometric formula come from with the visualization here, this picture. Study this and study the other one and you get additional insight into a rather complicated trigonometric identity which you may have first encountered in high school.